Boy, well, this board is me. Because if I see the thing, I can't make it. How long have you been a carpenter? I tell you, say, long, 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 long. <laughs> this is how they treat me, you know. How did you learn carpeting? I'm me just know that I don't know what. I'm me smart. My grandma, they pull on a board out. I'm taking a mixture and everything, I put a mixture tight. So from there, I started. So I made a chest of here. But I'm not from this place. Where are you from? I'm from St. Thomas. Yeah, how you end up moving from St. Thomas to St. Elizabeth? Well, I, I was requested to come down here to do a job for a man. Mm -hmm. But in the end of the day, he lied to me. He said, what him have and what him don't have and make me leave my place. So, since I started working, I'm not going to go back. I just feel comfortable with me. I have a son you know. Let me teach him. So you taught your son? So you were trying to turn it into a family business? Well, one time I did that work in the yard, I come around and I took up my nail and use them up on the side and I not have to And it come out to be good. So you think he loves it? Yeah. Do you love it? Oh, I love it. What is your favorite part about being a carpenter? Or a furniture builder? Well, I'll tell you honestly. I love everything in that woodwork. The wall is bored. It's me. Because I just, if I see the thing, I can't make it. Really? If you come and explain something to me, we can sketch it and say, right, then look like this. Either yes or no, and we don't have to move on with it. So, what is the worst part about it? When it when you're not here. <laughs> um, often? That is a regular thing. But when you're them, you know, you're in big trouble. How you manage when that happens? Let's say somebody commissions this nice bedded behind you, and you make it, and you carry it, and you deliver it. And then, and then they don't pay you. Then, then do they deposit? And when you go for your money now, they must tell you, say, you know, say, me name, no, say, that come or file all type of excuse. So, how you manage when that happens? Some of the time I leave them, and some of the time I wire them for my money. <laughs> because without the money, you can't, you can't much pay. What is the most difficult piece of furniture you've ever made? Uh, to be honest, it's not, not thinking it's difficult, like, I mean, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. it's not really difficult. Mm -hmm. Like we know you're going to make something, you, you put your brain straight. Mm -hmm. Like you go to your bed tonight, you think about it. If you make a mistake, a man, you come back, you overlook it. See if any mistake, you correct and so But it's not hard to me. What do you think it takes to be a good carpenter? Honesty. Why is that? Because you understand yourself. So you can do the job. And somebody will, will recommend you. You have some people now, they take the money, but they have a problem after. Me not join that. I'm not going to do it until they know me because I don't have the time. So you come back another day. I come back another time. Mm -hmm. That's how it, how it works with me. Mm -hmm. If there were ever any young people looking to get into carpentry but don't know if it might hard or they don't know if they're going to make any money, what would be your advice to them? Well, the only thing, don't think about the money. That's essential. But if you're going to learn that chain, Never you think about the money. Because if you think about the money, you're not going to learn it. 